An Iron Mountain woman did what she could to help save a life by donating her kidney and participating in what's being called a paired kidney chain. And yesterday in Detroit, both donors and recipients were finally able to meet up. TV6's Julie Williams tonight tells us more. Kidney transplants are dependent on lots of variables. It all starts with one person needing a kidney, and a donor has to have the same blood type and tissue makeup as a recipient. After combing the organ donor database, a donor chain was formed that spanned the entire country to make donations possible. Bringing one pair in who may have the correct blood type or just may have the correct tissue type makeup, maybe like the lock or the key to the lock that makes the whole chain go. Sarah Ray Andruski is an Iron Mountain native and one of the six people in the donor chain. She donated her kidney to a recipient, Lori, in Seattle. Your body part is living in someone else. It's a little strange, um, but it's also just this amazing experience. Coordinating Sarah Ray's transplant took a lot of work due to her location in the UP. We started her surgery at like four in the morning because her um, kidney had to make the first plane out to the west coast in the morning to limit the cold time to the kidney and take the stress off the kidney. Sarah Ray went to Detroit on Wednesday to meet the rest of the donor chain. Unfortunately, Lori was not able to be there in person, but meeting over the phone was still just as special. My recipient's mother um, passed away four days after our surgery. Lori said she believed that she was waiting to hear that she was doing okay. She said that she was able to speak with her the night before she passed and tell her that the doctors didn't fear rejection. She had gone very well. The kidney was functioning great and she was going home. And Sarah does hope to meet Lori face to face sometime in the future. Julie Williams, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.